Harry Potter fixes egg on toast for breakfast. Just the way any muggle would. Even his black cat seems to have lost all respect for Harry's supernatural powers. He's a scared little boy, I think, who has to, uh, has to man up. And uh, in the first movie, he's just a normal boy, orphan child, and all of a sudden he finds out he's a wizard. And that's kind of like, I think, every child's dream, to find out they're actually magic. 23-year-old Luke Williams has interrupted his studies to devote his days to practicing magic tricks. Every minute Luke Williams doesn't spend playing Harry Potter himself, he uses to study the way Daniel Radcliffe plays the character. I met him, I think it was 2004, but it was very strange looking at him. Because I sort of looked at him, I was like, is that what I look like? Like, it, it was very strange to sort of meet myself. <laughs> Luke was just 11 years old when he first slipped into the guise of Harry with a little help from his mother. When the first movie in the series hit the theaters in 2001, his own career began. And lots of people told me I looked like him, friends, teachers, family. And then one day she said it to me. My, uh, my mum said, you really look like that boy out the film. And I thought, if my mother says I look like someone else, I must look like someone else. So we sent a few pictures off to a few lookalike agencies. He really looked like Daniel Radcliffe. Um, so we just thought it would be fun for him to, to appear at a few places as Daniel Radcliffe. And I think a month later, I was out working, working as a lookalike. One sure way of attracting lots of attention on the streets of London is to accompany Luke with a camera crew. Oh, took my image. <laughs> okay. oh, yeah, yeah. I can't walk a metre without someone stopping me, wanting a photograph with me. So what it must be like for the real one, God, it must just be ridiculous. I mean, it must be great. Like, they must love it. <laughs> Luke is just one of many lookalikes in Europe. Susan Scott has Luke and 8,000 other celebrity doppelgangers under contract, with applications for more would-be doubles coming in every day. They're in demand for company parties and advertising. Because of the, in the last few years, celebrity um, has come so much to be so important, everything is about celebrity, um, we have benefited from that. Um, and so those lookalikes who look like somebody who is unobtainable are usually those that do the best. Many of her lookalikes are to be found in a book of photos by Nicholas Sperry. Harry Potter appears alongside sports and screen legends. It's a lovely thing to have uh, to sort of I don't know, maybe, who knows, in a few years to show my kids and be like, look what I did when I was younger. I was Harry Potter for a while. Luke knows his days as a double are numbered now that the last Harry Potter film has finished its run at the movies, but he can hardly imagine returning to an ordinary life. I have had a taste of what it's like to be a celebrity, because I, you know, I go to places Lots of people want their pictures taken with me, want autographs. I think I'd, I'd love that. I mean, I enjoy acting, I do a bit of theatre, and I know it's a very, you know, very, very unlikely story that I'd become a star myself. But who knows? Who knows what's around the corner? <laughs> We've got to have hopes. <laughs> These are magical moments for Harry Potter lookalikes, and Luke Williams enjoys all the attention while he still can. Smile.